Hi guys, my name's Arnie. If you don't know me, my name's Arnie. and today I am back with another video and for today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to do your makeup as a complete beginner. So let's go ahead and start the video. So the first step you're going to do is you're going to want to make sure that you're putting on primer. I use the Rihanna Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. The second step is you're going to want to do your eyebrows. You can choose to use an eyebrow pencil or you can use eyebrow powder. I personally use the Anastasia Eyebrow Powder in a color granite. I also use the Morph M165 brush to brush my eyebrows. You can choose to use either or. However, I will recommend the powder. The powder lasts a lot longer. I've had my powder for about years. It doesn't run out, put some oil, refresh it. That's all you gotta do. Next step now is to put some concealer under your eyebrows, around your eyebrows. Basically, it just helps you so that when you're doing your foundation, it blends in better. At least that's why I do it. I'm going to go in with the Pat McGrath Labs Concealer. This is in the color M12. It's a little bit too dark for me. That's why I'm going to be mixing it with the Pro Concealer HD High Definition. And this is in the color Porcelain GC969. But you're going to want to make sure that you're finding colors that work for your skin type and your skin color. And now you're just going to blend that in with a concealer brush. I personally use the BH Cosmetics brush. I don't know if you can see it good, but I got it a long time ago, so I won't be able to link this brush in the bio, but any concealer brush, any small brush with a point like this, that's precise, any brush that's small like this will work. Now this doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because we're going to fix it up when we go in with the foundation. Now we're going to go ahead and go in with our foundation. I'm personally using House Labs by Lady Gaga. I also use the Blurring Balm by Denisa Myricks. I think that's how you say it. This is an optional step. You do not have to do this. It's just something extra that I choose to do. When you're choosing your foundation, make sure you're choosing a foundation that matches your skin type. You could have oily to dry skin. My skin is personally medium to dry, so I try to make sure that I'm getting products that put oils in my skin. Make sure you're looking for that. Also make sure you're getting your exact um, skin tone. You don't want to be one of, those, one of those girlies that wears makeup that's too dark for their skin and you don't want to look too, too ghostly, if you know what I mean. You're also going to want to make sure you're going in with your foundation brush. Now, you could use a sponge. You don't have to use a brush. These sponges are really cheap. You can get these for like $3 pretty much anywhere. They might be a little bit more, but you basically can get these sponges. And as long as you wash them, they work for a long time. Or you can go with a brush. Um, I upgraded to a brush. I've been using sponges for like ever. The brush that I'm using is the Pro Foundation 70.5 um, Sephora brush. So this is my foundation brush. So again, going in with Nisa Myricks. Then I'm just putting the House Labs foundation over the Denisa Myricks. But again, like I said, that is completely optional. Okay, 
Okay, so once your foundation is on, you're going to want to go in with concealer. I use the same concealer as I was using before. The Pat McGrath Labs and the HD Pro Concealer. I mix them in because the Pat McGrath Labs is a little bit too dark for my skin. If you make sure you have the right shade and be better than me, you won't have that problem. The brush broke. <laughs> My brush broke. For as expensive as this was, that should never happen. I can't believe my brush broke. Okay, so if you're gonna get a, a concealer, don't even get Pat McGrath's, cause what do you mean? It's like 30, 40 dollars. That's 30, 30 something dollars, and the brush just broke? That's ridiculous. The ghetto, the ghetto. For my concealer brush, I use um, Rare Beauty. This one's by Selena Gomez. I don't do celebrities. Um, I just got it because it was affordable. It was an affordable brush and it does the job. So yeah. I know my foundation looks uh, really light, very cakey, but that's okay because we're going to fix it up. So now we're going to go in with our bronzer. For bronzer, I use Black Opal in the color Truly Topaz. This is the best bronzer you will ever buy in your life and I've used this almost like my whole life. This is the bronzer for you. But I also have a second, um, a second bronzer which is the... Charlotte Tilbury powdered bronzer. Either one works. I think they're both great, but personally, this is the best thing I've ever, ever used in my life. So. Now you're gonna go in with your bronzer brush, and I personally use the Tiryal 170 brush. Once you've done all of that, it's time to go in with your powder. I use the Huda Beauty powder. Make sure the powder is in the shade that works for your skin. I'm personally using Peach Pie. That works for my skin, but the first time I started doing my makeup, I used the Sasha Buttercup, and I used it in the like yellow shade, and that was really too dark, and I didn't like to use powder because of it. However, powder will make the makeup stay on your face and not move around or transfer. So you really need powder, so make sure when you buy your powder, you get the one that's in your shade. Now you're just gonna let that bake and I'll be back when it's done. Okay, now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and brush it all off. Um, I'm using my blush um, brush. I don't, I don't know where I got the brush from, but 
any brush that's like like fluffy like this will work and I'm kind of just rubbing it in and a little bit of brushing it off Okay, now go ahead, take a wipey or a brush or something, take the um, makeup off of your lips. Now I'm gonna go back in and rub a little bit of contour on my nose. Now this you could have did before the powder but I always forget to do it, so. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead, take some blush, and I'm gonna go in with my blush. I personally use the ColourPop blush. Um, any blush works blush you don't have to be super specific with and I only put a little bit of blush on you want to make sure everything's blended out pretty good my contour was a bit too harsh. So you don't want your contour. Well, actually, you could do your contour. For, uh, you could do your contour pretty harsh. Some people like it like that. That's personally like that's a personal preference. Now you go in with some highlighter. I use the Wet n Wild highlighter, but again, any highlighter works. And I apply it with my finger because why not? Okay, so once you've gotten this far, we're gonna go ahead and do some setting spray. Setting spray is important, especially if you're gonna be using your makeup all day. You wanna make sure it sets in, doesn't go anywhere. This is how you get your makeup so good that you could slap your face and no makeup comes off. So I use two setting sprays. The first one I use is the e.l.f. setting spray. This is very affordable. This is definitely great for a beginner. This is really all you need to use. I like to use two. If you want that super, like you want super good, set it in, looking professional. I also use a Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. And I use both of them just at different times. Um, you can, since you're just starting off, you really don't need to use two. And you really don't need to buy this one because this one's more expensive. It's just an optional choice. This one, affordable. Real quick, I'm just going to put some lip liner on. This lip liner is the NYX, NYX Line Loud Lip Pencil. Um, any lip liner you use, that's a personal preference. Me personally, I like my lips to be a bit darker. I don't do full on lipstick, I just do lip liner and then I like mush it in I guess. <laughs> This is the Vanilla Beam Lip Balm. I just got this from Sprouts. Any lip balm, any lipstick, any lip gloss will work. Now, this is the last and final steps. We're gonna do the eyeliner and the eyelashes. Eyeliner, pretty much any eyeliner works. This is the Huda, Huda, Huda Beauty Eyeliner. Um, personally, I love this one because the brush is so thin, you really can't mess up with this. So, let's go ahead and apply it. Okay, I'm 
done with my eyeliner. Now we're gonna go in with the eyelashes. So my tip as a beginner is don't go to the store and buy your eyelashes. I personally don't do it and I will never do it because they only give you like one pair or two pairs of lashes for like 12 something dollars. Instead, you can go on AliExpress where the actual people who, you know, you know the girls who sell eyelashes, a lot of times they get eyelashes from AliExpress and they sell these eyelashes for like 50 cents or so, a couple of cents. Just buy a whole bunch. So a um, couple years ago, a couple years ago, I've spent like $50 on AliExpress for a big stack of lashes. They came in packs that looked like this and packs that looked like this. Like I got all kinds of lashes and I have so much that I even gave some away and I still have lashes to last me years because you can, you can re-wear your lashes if you're doing falsies. Not everybody wants to do falsies. Like if you aren't interested in doing your falsies, this is fine like this you don't i don't have to go on and put lashes on i'm already like beat so but i like to i like to wear lashes so i'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes i apply them with the duo glue in the color black there's also a clear color but do whatever you prefer to do i just don't like the clear color i feel like it's not as sticky whichever the case and then you get your falsies and then you're gonna if you're doing falsies now, I can't get too detailed because it's just practice, really. But you just apply the glue to the falsies. I apply it directly on and I smear it. You don't really want to add too much. Just enough so that it looks kind of like that around the edges. And then you lay it down and you let it dry. And when you first apply it, it's not going to be sticky. It has to dry to get sticky. So you can wait you can blow on it just give it a couple minutes usually you should do it while you're doing something else so let's say when you're gonna start your eyeliner go ahead and put the glue on the falsies and then do your eyeliner and then by the time you're done your eyeliner your lashes will be ready while I'm waiting for my eyelashes to dry I just want to talk about eyeshadow eyeshadow again is optional for a beginner I wouldn't really worry too much about eyeshadow but if you want to start with some eyeshadow I would recommend like a small pack like this. This is uh, this is not a name brand palette. This is like a basic palette off of AliExpress. But I would recommend a palette of your skin tone. And then you can try like just applying it a natural eyeshadow that matches your skin tone. It will always look good. And then once you get good with applying eyeshadow that is your skin tone. Because again, if it's your skin tone you really cannot mess up because even if you do kind of mess up it blends in with your skin it's pretty hard to see so once you get good with this then you can start playing with colors if that's what you're interested in um me personally majority of the time i don't even wear eyeshadow but if i do you know a little swipe swipe here a little swipe swipe there that's all i do so they should look melted like this they shouldn't look as bright Okay, I can't really teach you how to put eyelashes on. It's something that like practice makes perfect. So put the glue on it the way I said to put the glue on it and then you just kind of match it up. Some people use pliers. I don't use pliers. I use my fingers because I feel like my fingers are more, like I'm more precise with my fingers because I can feel my eyeballs. But honestly, it's a hit or miss when it comes to eyelashes. I mess up eyelashes all the time and I've been doing makeup for years. But you know, you have your days, you have your good days, you have your bad days. I'm surprised that it's working on camera. Nothing ever works when I get on camera. Do I look crazy? Okay. I'm sorry, I feel like I look lopsided on the camera and so my makeup might not look as good. Also my makeup not, my, my makeup might not be as good because I'm on camera because I'm doing my makeup with the camera and it's actually really hard to do. I promise you my makeup looks 20 times more beat when I'm in front of a mirror and not on camera. However, I think you can get the gist of the process of doing your makeup from everything that I just showed you. Now, if you're doing that extra step I said that you really didn't have to do, that second setting spray, this is when we go in with the Charlotte Tilbury. Where did it go? Charlotte Tilbury, 
spray that on your face. And now my makeup is done yes that's how you do your makeup as a beginner so just make sure if you need to slow down my video slow it down but you just need to get the general process that's it like the you know how I keep saying practice makes perfect it really does so when it comes to making sure everything's blended making sure you're applying your powder all that stuff the skill will come as a beginner you only need to know the process you need to know you put your primer on you do your eyebrows you do the concealer with your eyebrows you start off with your foundation you do your concealer your contour bronzer contour slash bronzer and then you go on with your powder your spray your blush your highlighter maybe um maybe your eyeshadow um and then your maybe lashes depends on you and your preference and then once you get familiar with the process, you can start experimenting and doing new things like colorful eyeshadow. You can start doing maybe a stronger blush, different color highlighters. You can experiment with things that work with your face, but the process is all you need to know. Now, we've already went over brushes. If you want to do a brush or a sponge, as a beginner, again, you can just start with sponges because when you get your brushes, I would recommend that you get different types of brushes. You don't need a lot. You just need your essentials. Your essential brushes are your uh, foundation brush, concealer brush, your um, bronzer brush if you're using a powder bronzer and not the one that I just showed you. Well, even then, you probably still want a brush. And then you're going to want your blush, uh, your brush for the blush. And then you're going to want a. I already said concealer brush, but I have two different concealers. I had two different concealer brushes, as you guys saw. One specifically for the eyebrows, and one that was powdered that goes under the eyes. So I'd say you probably need about four to five brushes, and you're gonna want to invest on brushes that are good quality because if you wash your brushes, they will basically last you forever. So I recommend not to cheap out. Get really good brushes that have uh, good reviews, recommendations, and all that stuff. That's all you really need to know. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you want to subscribe, because I'm going to have a lot of new content coming out. Um, go ahead, subscribe, and have a great day, guys. Bye. It's the way you act. I'm just playing. Okay, bye for real. Bye, guys.